Hey anime lover welcome back to your channel. One Piece chapter 1106 is out. But before we hope into the chapter it's a request if you are new to the channel do subscribe and if you find video worth watching hit that like button also. We have another request cover page. On the cover of One Piece chapter 1106, Robin helped a crocodile with her fashion sense. The crocodile is wearing sunglasses, a t-shirt that says Lagosta, a bandana, and cool striped trousers and he is looking cool in this outfit. The chapter starts where it left off, with a giant ship heading towards Egghead. This big ship might be the one that destroyed the marine ship in the last chapter. On Egghead, in the previous chapter, we saw Luffy surrounded by marines because he had eaten a lot and couldn't move. Now, Luffy has rested and magically shed his body fat in just a second, becoming fully energized. The marines are shocked at how fast he digested all the food. One marine officer even wonders if Luffy is human and suggests that he might eat them if they come too close. In the next scene we see a cannon blast hits right the marines knocking one of the marine officers. The whole area is almost entirely engulfed in fire all this is happening because of the buster call, and they need to hurry and evacuate from the island. However, they also want to catch one of the most wanted pirates, an emperor. A marine officer tells his colleague to put sea stone handcuffs on Luffy. This way, they can make sure he can't use his powers. We see Luffy is smiling and his hair is changing and he's back in his gear 5. In the next part, marine battleships are attacking Egghead and some marines haven't evacuated yet. The marine commander orders his soldiers to keep firing to destroy Egghead completely. In the previous chapter, Bonnie, Kuma, Frankie, and Atlas were shown falling from the sky, and they are still in air. Vegapunk is trying to figure out how to save them. Using his communicator, Vegapunk contacts Atlas and tells her to relay a secret message to Bonnie that only he knows. Atlas tells Bonnie something secretly and she seems surprised by it. Meanwhile, pacifistas, these powerful robotic beings, are about to shoot laser beams at them. But before that happens, Bonnie somehow communicates with all the copies of Kuma and asks them not to harm them and help them escape from Egghead. Bonnie is hopeful that this idea worked. The pacifistas, now following Bonnie's command, turn against the marines, pointing their laser hands at them. The marines are scared because the pacifistas are now aiming at them. Even the pacifistas far from the battle are following Bonnie's command in destroying marine battleships. The marines are confused, wondering why the pacifistas are targeting them. The pacifistas begin attacking the marine ships near Egghead, causing them to splinter and crack. The marines on Egghead have no chance to evacuate, and this is just the first attack from the pacifistas. Saturn realizes why the pacifistas have turned against them. The pacifistas continue firing at every marine ship in the bay, and blowing away marines with explosive blasts. The entire battlefield situation has changed, thanks to Vegapunk's genius mind. As Bonnie sails as a pirate, the thought of being killed by a pacifist worried him, especially after everything Kuma did to save her. This nightmare was something Vegapunk couldn't let happen. He couldn't openly go against the deal Kuma made with Saturn. However, Vegapunk secretly added a twist to his work. Bonnie is now the highest rank in the pacifistic command hierarchy, surpassing even the five elders. Furious about Vegapunk's betrayal, Saturn attacks him with one of his spider legs, piercing through Vegapunk's chest. It looks like Vegapunk has suffered a severe injury and he struggles to breathe. Bonnie is shocked at what just happened, as Saturn shows no mercy in killing Vegapunk, the world's greatest scientist. Frankie expresses his anger at Saturn for killing his idol, but he's unable to do anything to save Vegapunk. Saturn orders Kizaru to eliminate the group in the air and Kizaru follows the order and Kizaru move at light speed. Kizaru then attacks Sanji and the others in the sky with his laser beam, leaving them severely injured and covered in blood. Atlas tries to shoot down Kizaru, but her aim is off due to his fast movements. Kizaru, wielding a light sword, is about to deliver a fatal blow to Kuma and Bonnie. He apologizes to his former friends, stating that he will kill the pair together with one shot and it won't hurt they'll be together in death. Just as Kizaru is about to land the attack, he hears a familiar laugh. Luffy appears with a sneak attack, his hand coated with Haki, and he lands a powerful blow on Kizaru, sending him flying far away. Bonnie wonders if it was Luffy who attacked Kizaru. Now, Luffy is here, fully powered up and ready for action. The drum of liberation echoing over Egghead Luffy said it's time for some fun. The falling group finally hit the ground. Now we shift to the marines on the battleship, feeling the island shake due to the shockwaves from the pacifistas' bombardment. They desperately seek help to stop the pacifistas. Saturn is frustrated as the situation slips out of his control, and Kizaru is exasperated, putting his hand on his head. 
It's not turning out to be a good day for the Admiral, with Luffy casually overshadowing him. Bonnie urges the injured Vegapunk to get up because they'll die if they stay on Egghead. Vegapunk is in bad shape, losing a lot of blood. Meanwhile, in the scrapyard, the sound of the drum of liberation reaches the giant robot, and its eyes light up. It appears that the ancient robot is now awake. Back to Bonnie and Vegapunk, Bonnie realizes the significance of the rhythm. She remembers her conversation and dance with Kuma, where they move to the same rhythm as the sun god Nika. Mesmerized, Bonnie looks at the sky, and despite his pain, Vegapunk manages to confirm that Luffy is the sun god Nika. Luffy is in the air, dancing just like Bonnie and Kuma used to do. Vegapunk, still in pain, talks about the Buster Call being a big problem for someone like Nika, and people have been waiting for Nika for centuries, so they have to get out this situation anyhow. Moving to the north coast of Egghead, a huge ship is heading towards Egghead. The marines on the battleship recognize the giant ship and the people aboard it's none other than Dory and Broby. The marines thought these two giants had died a hundred years ago and are puzzled about why they're here. The giant ship is speeding toward the battleships as if it's going to crush them. In a panic, a marine commander orders his crew to fire on the giant ship. Dory and Brogy are here to pick up Straw Hat Luffy because they already know that Luffy is the one the world is waiting for, and he is their god, the Sun God. With this, the chapter concludes. So friends, the question is, besides the Gorosai, how many people know that Luffy is the Sun God? We can now say that Bonnie, Vegapunk, Kuma, Giants, and the Red Hair Pirates are aware of Luffy's divine status.